Hey, what's going on? Um, so in this video, I'm just going to show you how to back up your games to your um, hard drive. So I have a two terabyte external hard drive right there connected to my PS5. So now I'm going to get the PS5 turned on. I'm going to go through that settings there, which is yeah, show you how to go ahead and get that done. All right, so got my PS5 on. So to get the get it started, let's go to storage. Let's go to extended storage. You'll see this message right here. Um, so I'm the slim and see um, two terabytes from an extended storage. Um, as you can see, if you saw my last video, I tried to do it with my eight terabyte that I just got, and I did look that up, and it's not compatible with the PS5. So, if you had the hard job of planning on picking that one up, do not get it for your PS5 if it doesn't work. It, will, it doesn't work for my PC, it doesn't work for PS4 either. But the slim two terabyte one does work. So, I'm gonna format like it says. Um, yeah, it's totally fine. I don't have anything on it. Yes. format all right so here it is you have to format it uh, so I can install ps4 games or apps on the extended storage and I can also change it so if you want to remove it there's a little thing thing so you want to go to settings storage and um, USB extended storage and then safety remove uh, you don't want to just pull it out because if you pull it out, they could damage the files or damage the hard drive. You could break the possibly break the hard drive, so you don't want to do that. So I'm okay. There's a safety remove, so if I want to safety remove it, options. So that when well, format, what that does is it lets you convert it back to Windows, so you can lose, use it in Windows. So if you ever want to do that, so if you don't want to use it anymore for your PS5, you want to just use it for your Windows computer. You want to use, choose that format as XFAT. So installation location. So I can change that right now. I have them both with M2. So I can go ahead and change that to USB extended storage. So let's go ahead and move some games over. So let's go back to my storage. Let's see what I have my M2. Just for this video, I'm going to do one PS4 game and one PS5 game. Uh, keep in mind that you can only play PS4 games from the hard drive, not PS5 games. So uh, let's go ahead and move something small. So uh, let's see what I want to move. Let's go slow it that way and move something small just so it doesn't take as long. Oh, that one was it? There we go. Paramount. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and do Contra. You know, we're going to do Contra. Oh, yeah. I'm just going to move Contra over. Shouldn't take too long. This is such a small file. There we go. So I got that over, moved over. And let's see, move the council, move the storage that way. So you can see. So if I want to do that, I can do the same thing with this one. Play bad dudes. I want to move that. And I can move the council storage. But I'm not going to do that right now because I'm just going to extend the hard drive. So let's go for a PS5 game. And I'll move it from council storage. Uh, let's see, let's see what I have that's small enough to move over. That won't take up a lot of time. Let's see what I have. Resident Evil 3. Let's go with Resident Evil 3. So I'm going to move this over. Uh, and I'm going to move it over to... Oh, I don't want to move it to M2. Let's move to... There we go. Alrighty, so let's move Resident Evil 3. That shouldn't take too long. Now keep in mind, the bigger the game, the longer it takes, so it just depends. So that's why I'm just moving a small file over now, so that way it won't take up too much time just for this video. Alrighty, so it's just about done. So I have about one minute, a little over a minute, so. so. Should be shouldn't be too much longer for this to get here get completed. Alrighty, so just about to done about five seconds left. It should be completed. That's it, so let's go check, see what's on extended storage. Games and apps. 
And there you go, so you have Resident Evil 3 and Contra. So move it over smoothly, and then you can delete it, move it back if you want. Oh, don't know what that was about. Maybe game content. Now let's go see what happens if I try to play Resident Evil 3, since I just moved it over. Can't find any other app, so I'll say yeah, I won't really do anything with it. Let's see, follow, so let's see, copy. All right, so if you want to play it, play Resident Evil 3, you have to copy back, copy it back over. So that's how that works. So that's it for this video. So I just want to show you guys how to um, move games over to your hard drive. So stay tuned for the next video, and I will show you how to run a backup of the system. So thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.